group perform from a school. And this year we actually didn't have a guest group. And this past week I realized that um, from the members in the chorus, I had three out of four of my barbershop quartet from school. And these members are not in the program for this, so I'll let you know. This is Cameron, he's in fourth grade. He's singing what's called the tenor part, which is the highest part of the barbershop quartet. This is uh, Jacob Black. He's singing the baritone, which uh, does harmonies just all over the place between the tenor and the, the lead. Uh, this is Logan Allison. He is singing the lead, which is the melody part. And uh, this is Julian LaFleur. He, he's an eighth grader who was in the All South Jersey Junior High Chorus. And he, uh, with the goodness of his heart, came out today to make sure this quartet was complete with all four parts. It's barbershop and octave higher. These are all trouble voices, and if you've sung in choirs before, you know the difficulty of teaching parts and you know people not getting mixed up with these parts. But these kids don't get mixed up. They're carrying the four-part a cappella like nothing. Uh, the two pieces they're going to do are very famous barbershop quartet pieces that have been known in the Barbershop Harmony Society for years, and they've been out since this society was called the Society for Preservation of Encouragement of Barbershop Quartet Singing in America, or SPEB Squad, as you know. So we're still doing adjustments on the mic, Sid. Okay, and we, we're, we're gonna do a chord and just test it out on the chord and make sure that the sound is right because it's a little different configuration. Make sure is that is that coming through? Okay, because uh, once they start, there's no turning back. <laughs> And I, I forgot to mention, these are all students from my school, Quinton <laughs> uh, School, so I'm lucky to have them. Yeah. There's actually four more. We're going to have an octet performing uh, that number in our concert with all kinds of choreography, so maybe we'll come out to that. All right, our next number is the auctioneer, very, very famous piece of barbershop and country music and everything. Thank you. 
home when she told him he had to go to school. He'd take a walk in the afternoon, just follow him, and pretty soon he'll find him at the local ocean barn. He spent and listened carefully, and pretty soon he began to see how the ocean made it with so rapidly. Oh, me and my do or die, I've got to learn that ocean cry, I've got to make my mark and be an auctioneer. From the boy who went to school and who ran the play pool when he came home with full fledged auctioneer. The people came from all around just to hear him make that ringing sound that filled their hearts with such a happy cheer. His face ran off from shore to shore, he had only to let me run. He had to buy a plane to get around. And now his arms in all the land that's supposed to be in that red hand, cause he's the best still Billy Auctioneer. But he got the for you, 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 for He makes more noise when he takes a step than you hear from a rail.